Here are some more problems about probability. This first one says, what is the probability of drawing a spade from a deck of 52 playing cards? And to answer this correctly, you really need to know something about playing cards. You know, they're divided up into four suits. They're spades, hearts, diamonds, and clubs. And in a deck of 52 cards, there are 13 of each of those. So the, the probability of drawing a spade at, when you pick a card at random would be 13 out of 52. Or if you're looking at this, there's four types of cards and they're each an equal number. You might say to yourself, well, it's one out of four, isn't it? And you'd be right. And if you um, actually, you, t you can take a 13 out of 52. 52 is 13 times four. So that does reduce to one out of four. Let's look at another one. This one says, if a dart randomly hits the board below, what is the probability it will hit the shaded area? When we calculate a probability, again, we want to make a fraction with the total things that could happen on the bottom and the things we're interested in happening on the top. So that, let me count the total sections here. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's going to hit in one of those eight sections. Those are the possible outcomes. There's eight outcomes. The outcomes we're interested in is where it's shaded. How many of those do we have? One, two, three. So the probability that it's going to hit a shaded area is three out of eight. And let's look at another one here. This one says, it's Cindy's turn to spin in a game that she's playing with her friends. What is the probability that Cindy will have to move back on this spin? And this one's a little more complicated. We better read the spaces here. This one says, go back two spaces. Oh, and, and they're asking, what's the probability she'll have to move back? So I'm actually going to mark this one special. That makes her go back. This one says, move ahead three spaces. This one says, go back one space. I'm going to mark that too, because that's a go back. This one says, move ahead two spaces. This one says, lose a turn, move ahead one space. Go back three spaces, so that's a go back one. And then move ahead one space. So I've got three possible uh, outcomes here which would cause her to go back. And the total number here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, there are eight uh, possible places the spinner could land. So again, the total possible outcomes goes on the bottom, and the ones we're interested in go on the top. So there is a three out of eight probability that Cindy will have to move back on this spin.